There are a number of problems with grain ethanol and the next generation fuel after grain ethanol, the next thing we need to move to to improve the sustainability of our biofuel cropping systems is cellulosic ethanol. Now one of the major concerns about cellulosic ethanol has been the fertilizer footprint of, of cropping. So when we crop for grain, we need to put a lot of fertilizer on to increase the grain yield. And it's been assumed in the past that when we crop for cellulose in the leaf and stem fraction of, of plants, that we will additionally need as much fertilizer as we needed for grain cropping. We showed that the cellulose yield in the non-food portion of the corn crop, so the corn uh, stover or leaves and stems, didn't increase very much when we applied uh, nitrogen fertilizer, even when we applied almost twice as much as what's recommended. But the thing that I think is really interesting about this study is that um, it's not just that cellulose yields don't improve with high levels of fertilization. The other thing that happens, it turns out that plants produce lignin from a precursor that's an amino acid, which needs fertilizer. So by adding more fertilizer, it turns on increased production of lignin in the plants. So by adding more fertilizer, not only are we unlikely to increase the ability of fields to produce cellulose, we're also degrading the quality of the biofuel feedstock. So instead of producing a feedstock that's richer in cellulose, we move to a feedstock that's slightly richer in lignin. And lignin is a problem for biofuel production. Rice is a great place to do this research because we needed to find a way to combine collaborations with, agricultural, with the agricultural community with cutting edge analytical chemistry tools. And through Rice's Shared Equipment Authority, we were able to connect the agricultural, the NSF's agricultural research station with the Shared Equipment Authority to bring together these, these high quality biological samples with really excellent analytical chemical tools.